Bienvenue sur la 4D, c'est parti
You're not getting away this time. <laughs> You're not getting away this time. I can see you. Mali went completely insane, crushed down every robot, the souls were set free, but got burned in the end because of a gas leak that she caused. All because she tried to stop the angry possessed soul of Jaden that got freed from his own grave. But the worst was still yet to come. Well, 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 what have we here? <laughs> It's the vessel that burned the California studio down. Let me go. <laughs> Let me There's go. There's no escape from here now. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Mally. Everybody is here. We're all gathered here for one last party. What? Isn't that right? Yeah. 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 Let's start with the birthday present. Ta-da! you recognize it? It's the old suit that once Nila ruined him. And now, it's going to be a part of you. No! Please! Have you ever heard the phrase, desperate times call for desperate measures? No! Please! No! Oh, just stop crying! Here, let me play a happy song for you. What was that? I'm sorry for what I did. I, I can't hear you. How's it going? 
You doing all right? What was even going out there? No, Chris, you don't get it. What? What do you mean? I don't know if you know about this, Chris. Our boss, Jeremy, he's fucking dead. Oh no! How did that happen? He literally shot himself. Oh no. Yeah, we're in depths. Oh, that's terrible. I don't know what we're going to do about it. Well, luckily Mike said he would burn the tour down for some reason. What? No! You can't do that! What? Mike! <sighs> no. Don't you get it? This is why we keep making them mad. Sorry, Raven. It's the only thing we can do. I, I don't know what else to do, Raven. No. We can't do it. Why would Mike burn it down like this? So this is... It was burned down because of a gas leak. But not just that. It was caused because someone threw an axe at it. Raven, just let it go. Just let it go. You have your money. J just go. No! It just makes me cry to see a studio like this break down my own eyes. You're burning a whole memory lane down. Fuck you, Mike. You're a kind. And so ends the tale of the new Angry German Kids studio that happened to be a tour with many bad reputations, but in the end got burned in crisps by the hands of Mike. The worst has now come. The future is gold. Shit!
Gadget here. Welcome to the main menu of this game. For you first time users of this menu, I'd like to take a moment and show you how to use this menu. All around me on the main menu are buttons. These will give you the ability to do all sorts of neat things. You can use your mouse to move to these buttons by moving the glow to it and click on your mouse. The button will glow. Whatever button you want to press, just move the glow to it and click on your mouse. Always do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Not only have you killed me, but you have also killed my friends.
going to pay for all your crimes. Oh hey there, Raven. By now you should be working in the new improved Angry German Kid Studio. Well, or should I say, Willkommen in der Neue Ajika Studio in Deutschland. <laughs> I don't know if that was correct, but they don't pay me for saying that. But what they do pay me for is to guide you enough instructions to make sure you sustain a well night shift. I know Mike used to help you during the old location, but we've decided to switch him to the day shift. Alright, so I am the new one who has to guide you now through the new location and policies and whatever. You know what? Screw these papers. I am going to give you the instructions right away because you don't want me to read all of this. That will probably take like 3 hours of the night shift. First of all, we have 3 brand new animatronics for you. The idea came from Mike himself. And we also scrapped the Plastic Harold and Plastic Jake because our target seems to focus young young adults and kids now. These robots are specifically designed to roam around at night to make sure the old animatronics stay in their parts and service. We don't know what's causing them to move. Something seems to be broken in the old suits. We're trying to look what's the problem about it, but we don't know. Now if the new animatronics seem to roam in the establishment, make sure you keep an eye on them. Occasionally they will go into your office because they get triggered by the sound waves. But don't worry, as long as you show them your face, nothing can go wrong. Because if they see you as a human, they will likely just go away. But if they see you as one of the old animatronics, they will probably scare the living shit out of you. Other things that I need to mention is that you have no doors. Isn't that crazy? Remember when you had to use silly doors? No, you don't need that anymore. Because we've decided to give you... An empty Leopold head. You can put it on and we've also provided oxygen for you to breathe in. The problem is, we're still working on the place to get more ventilation to the outside. It's all ventilated inside, but there's no air coming through the building yet. Also, since the place is too cold, we've decided to give you a lamp this time. It would only be much more cold for you to work if we've given you another fan. That's all that I can say for today, actually. All the other animatronics you see on the cameras, they are just turned off because we haven't made them work properly yet. This is only our first week since we've officially opened, and apparently there's a birthday scheduled soon, so we're still preparing all the stuff. So many balloons. Wonder how big that party's gonna be. Enough talk, I think I've instructed you enough information for you. So have a good night shift and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I mean, I can't see you, but I hope you're there. Hey Raven, congratulations if you made it! I don't know if you are alive or dead, but if you are alive, which I hope, I got some important information for you because this night is gonna be a hell lot different from your first one. I mean, technically you shouldn't have any worries on your first night, but anyway, we're soon getting sausage eggs shipped to the studio. You know, they're like, uh, treats for uh, when we do tours around the studio. We're like... The cold food classic of the keyboard crasher that is sausages on eggs. So uh, the head of the studio, who is uh, Jeremy, he is still uh, counting a lot of papers about previous locations. Um, I have a little update about uh, Mike. He should actually uh, do a few uh, votes for you. I'm not sure, but he said he wants to like. Uh, have a little talk with you on the phone. So, uh, I won't probably be as long for your night shifts, but I don't know. I guess some people hate me, I guess. But let me tell you about our past with our last owner that we had. Before the entire AGK and Fundaments of Entertainment, there was another ownership that was labeled Gina's Family Diner, I think, which was built somewhere in the late 90s, I guess. Uh, the main star who is Gina, we kind of actually got her back, but her condition is much more worse than the other pals. Well, to be honest, we had to replace parts from Leonard and Neela into the new ones. At least nothing seems to be broken. I mean, polishing with PVC material is way more cost effective than metal. It would only have like a few scratches, but that's no problem. 
Uh, we kept Gene around, you know, for the kids. They seemed to love it a lot. We kind of made his own thing in the entertaining room, but the animatronic keeps the old server coach, which means it will roam around at night and probably kill you. But I think the mask should do the trick. Just remember, you don't have to use it on the newer animatronics, but you already knew that, so why would I even repeat that again for you? Uh, I don't know. My co-workers recently came up with a funny name for Gina now. They've been referring her as the Hang Girl, which is pretty funny. But at the same time, why would they name it so sinister? But anyway, I don't need to talk quite as much as I should. But I just worry about you, you know? Shouldn't you take like a vacation or something? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, I'll hang up now. So like usual, do your best, do your... Oh, I fucking hated that song in the diner. Fuck that place. Hey, it's me again. You know, from the last calls. Uh, okay, Raven. There's more information for you, so let me start off with the most important ones as usual. We've tried to work on the old models to make them move during the tour, you know. To go boo and scare the kids a bit. <laughs> well, about the old animatronics from the California days. They're gonna roam in this night, and well, let me tell you, you shouldn't be scared. The mask thing should help with all of them, except for Jake. Jake will not get fooled by anything except the brightness of the flashlight. So I would assume to just flash the light at him. The old models should be slower than the new ones, but this could be a bit confusing. So pay close attention who goes to your office. Some of them don't need the mask, some of them do. Got it? So update on Jeremy, he's almost done. Bad news, we're getting closer in depth. So I hope we can still pay you, but if we can't, well, that's going to be a bit unfortunate. They don't tell you these things at all, do they? Well, I think you should have everything on the control, Raven. It's just gonna be a bit like your last shift, so... Have a good shift, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello, Raven. It's me, your boss, Jeremy. I've been giving your phone instructor, Chris and Mike, a couple days off. So I can have a talk with you. Don't worry, it's not about losing your job. I just wanted to talk with you for a bit. Since we've never met each other, I know you're probably busy looking at the cameras and trying to give yourself some time to breathe in that rusty old helmet we made for you. But let me tell you something, Raven. Mike should have never come up with something horrible like this. I don't mind his tastes, but the tour business has really not been achieving anything big here. I got some papers here with me about the reputation about how the tour is currently doing. It's not going great. But the food here is great, however. So, perhaps we should have made another diner or something. Anyway, I'm still handling these papers, even from the diner days. Ugh. Kids these days, man. They don't know that they shouldn't touch things they're not allowed to touch. Our cameras didn't even work about that time, so I'd have no idea what happened in that event. However, I have finally found that blue-haired bitch who burned down the California studio. But at last, we finally found her... Now, she's in a better place. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. She won't be coming out of that. <coughs> Seeing how much damage the studio tour costed me, I don't know if I'm still able to pay you this week. I know that sounds very bad, but I'll come up with a plan very fast. Alright, back to filling out these fucking papers again! Hello, Raven. It's me, your boss, Jeremy. Hey, I decided to give you an update on your payment. I've unfortunately got some bad news for you. We're in debt. <sighs> I fucking knew it. I should have never trusted him. He couldn't even pronounce my name right. He called me Jerry. What do I look like, some kind of mouse getting chased by a cat? Or the guy from Seinfeld? But not only that, he decided to bring another animatronic in this... A friggin' puppet by a company by the name of Dolphies. I should have fired him, but now it's too late. There's no way to come back now. My whole business, it's gonna go down in flames. I'll be left on the streets with no food, no more drinks, no more phone calls. <laughs> no more pizza. Now, if you ever come across Mike in the future, tell him... He's a fucking cunt! Holy shit.
shit. Do you remember me? It's me, Mike. I'm so glad to talk to you again. I am making this call because we are going to escape out of here. I have some real bad news for you. Jeremy is dead. He shot himself. We have no more boss. So I guess I'll take the new orders here. How do you like the new studio, by the way? Oh, sorry. I know you're probably raging at me telling you what the hell is going on. I don't know either Raven, the birthday schedule got cancelled, we've only got one batch of sausage eggs. I don't think the tour is gonna make our profit back. The last thing I noticed was that a door suddenly opened through the new maintenance hallway. It's nowhere seen on your camera. But I am currently there trying to get us out of here quick. We gave you the last money but don't worry I'll pay you after this night as well. I provided you with a new ability, you may use your ability once, then it will be on a cooldown, during the time you cannot charge it, you'll have to wait. Also most animatronics don't like it, when you shot them, so my idea would be to wait, until they get tired of attacking then go for the shock. Got it? We're also shutting the entire tour down. I've honestly had it with this job to Raven. Fuck Jeremy. He was a horrible boss anyway. Okay. I think that's everything. Good luck, I'll be waiting, for you, until it's 6 a.m. What the? What the hell is that? Oh no. Raven. Be careful. Something is coming.
This button will allow you to f*** off. This button will load the game. This button will play the game. Night, 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 buddy. You keep now. Yeah, you may. That's all I need to do. Cookie down. Hop it, hop it, hop! I'm coming for you, buddy! Get over here! Shred him! Rip his guts out! Take that! Eat this! Murder this chump! <laughs> I'm back! You see, buddy, luck will always be on my side. Jeez, angry! Why does everything gotta be about food? Huh? You think that's gonna work on me now? Don't make me laugh. No, 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 no. I'm your worst nightmare, buddy. You ain't getting out. You hear me? There's no way out for you. Oh, so close. You weren't thinking about leaving already, were you? You like eggs? Ha <laughs> ha, look at me. You're in big trouble now, Squishy. Hey, angry. I want to try one of his ribs, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat way more ribs with this body! Sorry, I just get so hungry. Nice hat. Thanks. I was being sarcastic. Well, I stole your face.
I fight under the genius. Look at C'est fini. Il aura de nouveau. Pistolet, c'est la fin.